Hi, this is Ed, KJ4FGI. Um, I always wanted to build an antenna launcher, but I took a look at the pneumatics and the ones that you would really want to build. You, you just got involved with getting parts from uh, from your like your irrigation system and and modifying them and doing it the right way. And I wanted something that was going to definitely make over any tree that I wanted to. Anyway, it's been a while. Pneumatic ones are usually about three feet long and uh, could be a little longer than that and then it's wide because you got the tank and then you got to carry around a uh, a tire pump uh, and then also a ruler string uh, this right here is all that you need to go to do like parks on the air you know you're going to do it temporarily or you, if you're even going to launch it full uh, all together and put up a permanent antenna friend of mine Philip came for NJC told me hey look at this video from Bob Heil so I looked at it very interesting and I decided to go ahead and build it what this actually is is for training dogs um, it's a uh, for uh, bird dogs you would launch it and the dog would go after it it actually comes with this casing on it you got to cut that casing off and when you cut it off you got this without the wires you got this piece now what you got to do is you got to make this flyable. In his video, he shows putting some turns of number four copper wire on there, which I did. I put six turns of copper wire. Then I crushed the copper wire down and I soldered it so that it wouldn't spread out. I drilled two holes through here. I don't know if you can actually see it, whatever. I drilled two holes through here. Put number 24 gauge military grade Teflon wire through it. Um, I actually put it through one hole. I wrapped it four times this way, through the other hole four times counterclockwise, stripped it, twisted it, soldered it, and that was all together. Then once I got that all, this all together, I just taped it up. Now this is for your antenna wire. What you could, I'm going to put a link for this. The link is going to be for everything in here, and there's not a lot, so. Uh, this length right here is, uh, this wire this is really strong uh, kite wire. I don't know what kind of kites they put up with this thing. This thing is really, really strong. And it's 650 feet of wire. But what you can do is you can leave this swivel on because it comes with the swivel. Connect it. Launch it over when it gets to the other side of the tree. If you're doing like a temporary parks on the air, whatever. Then you would connect your antenna. To this end over here and then you would just reel it up up to that height and uh, beautiful if not if you want to do a permanent antenna like I want to do permanent for my house uh, what you're going to do is I, I'm going to take the swivel off and I'm just going to tie the two ropes together after I launch this and it gets to the other side I am actually going to tie rope to rope so I could then reel over the, my Dacron rope so that's how that works. Should be a real easy, simple video. Here's your launcher. Put a little oil around the O-ring. Well, let me tell you why I use this wire. See how flexible this wire is? It's not like picture frame wire. I tried picture frame wire at first, and it stayed stiff. And you don't want it to be stiff. What happens when you, when you load it, that's how the wire would come up. And then uh, after launching, it would actually stay like that, the picture frame wire. But the um, Teflon wire is very flexible. Well, there you go. What you would do to launch it? Oh, first let's get the power. The, the, uh, the kit, the dummy launcher, Super Pro dummy launcher uh, by DTD Systems. Comes with two extra O-rings. So you get the total of three O-rings. Now, what do you want to do? You don't want it to go into the next town over. They recommend the green and yellow loads. Blank 22 caliber load. Green and yellow. They don't want you to go red because red is going to send it too far and it might even damage this piece after a while. The green goes from 50 to 80 yards. So you're looking at, uh, what? 150 feet to uh, 240 feet 
that's pretty good the yellow they call this a moderate load 70 to 110 yards you imagine that 330 feet with this thing it's simple it's compact this is all you'll need to go on a poda that's it uh, if you have any questions please let me know I do answer them and um, that's it man so I got the yellow box I'm gonna pick up a green box the yellow I'm gonna use for my tree in the backyard the green is if I go anywhere else hey you never know go somewhere on vacation well I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it wasn't that boring KJ4FGI is clear